What's up, everyone? Lynn. Today, we're going to go over how to make to do is I'm going to load it in my preheated chamber. The Flare 58 can heat uh, electronically, so it's preheated, and I'm just, I'm going to put it right there, and that's where I'm going to have it while I prep my milk. Where did my mug go? Oh, here it is. All right. Sorry. There's, uh, it is clean. I just had milk in it a second ago. All right, so this is my mug. I'm going to, while, while I prep my espresso and it's waiting for me to go, I'm going to put up how much milk I need for my cappuccino in here, and I'm going to walk and find my secret microwave. Secret microwave. And I'm going to put it in about about a minute, minute, and a, uh, minute 15 while I'm shutting it. All right. So while that's going, I'm going to come over here and finish my espresso. Actually get it going. 
So I got my boiling water, and I'm going to pour it into the brew chamber. Chicka, 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 chicka. And these gold rock bands. All right, whoop. I brought it up. All right, I'm going to place the smart espresso profiler, plunger in, bada bing, hook it on, get it on there. I'm going to put my cup on the scale. I'm going to tear it out. I have my app open and ready. And we're going to start with uh, the scale go off. Come over here. There you go. Thank you. I'm going to start with some cream infusion and start. And I'm going to bring it up to about three bars. I'm going to let it sit at three. So about 15 seconds. And I'm going to ramp it. Boom! Ramping it to nine. All right, now I'm going to slowly taper off. Slowly taper off. And we're at 28, 29, 30. And we're boom, at 35. I pulled it. All right, so I've got my espresso. I'm going to put a cup under here for the leakage that's inevitably going to happen. Got my Oh, perfect timing, eh? For my Canadian fans out there. All right, so I'm going to take my milk. I'm going to go to the sink. And bada bing, put it in my pitcher. Take my cup in the sink. Now I've got hot milk and a pitcher. Take my lightsaber, putting it right in the center, um, incorporating milk, a foam, and then boom, just about two or three seconds. And I go off to the side, and I'm just whirling. Keep on whirling, whirling, whirling. I'm just going to whirl. So all the bubbles are gone. I'm not allowing the head to be surfaced. I'm just whirling. Whirling. Got to keep it deep, not to the side. It's not just going to whirl. Sorry, it takes about 45 seconds to get it fully uh, creamy. Creamy. All right, we got another couple seconds, and it's like wet paint, and boom. Bada bing. All right, so I'm going to transfer just to groom it to another pitcher. And you all know me. I like my handleless pitchers. All right. I said there's a little too much milk. I'm going to take that. We're going to take the espresso. And here we go. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to do a simple stack. Boom. Bam. Emerald. Bam. Bam. Ooh, I'm shaky. I'm nervous in front of y'all. All right. So here we are. With an anus on it. Let's put it on the shape test. Does it pass the shape test? That's the question of the century, right? We're going to take it and hit the uh, uh oh. I think it's already failed. Yeah, it kind of did, but we're still going to go for it. Yeah, it's uh, well, it's not microphone like you do it from a steam wand, but it's going to give you that little bit of foam, that, uh, and it's silky enough that you can create a nice latte art. Pretty well integrated, and it tastes pretty nice. Um, I say pretty nice. It tastes very good, actually. Um, but just remember, this is a frother. It's not a steam wand. Um, you're able to get much tighter texture from steam wand. But this frother does quite an incredible job. In fact, I, this looks like better texture to me than using uh, when I'm using a French press to do it. I mean, it looks good. I just did uh, like a five-stack tulip. Uh, that looks really nice. Except I just put mine out now. Everyone viewing a 
subscribe, that's fine. Uh, but if you're watching this and you like watching my videos and you're not subscribed, it'd be awesome if you did that. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It helps a lot. Um, the more subscribers I can get, the more I'm able to post these videos. Uh, so I just want to thank you a lot for watching to this point. Anyway, y'all rock. If you haven't yet, check out my Patreon, the Discord that you have access to through it. Pop in. It's a lot of fun. We have some really cool people in there and uh, people from all over the world. So there's conversations going on 24 hours a day. Thanks again. That's uh, for the last